Hello, the 31st here, how is it going? Welcome to another character design analysis for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today we're finishing up the Wardens in a part two and covering Iskan and Leon, the boys. If you haven't seen the previous character design analysis video covering the Wardens, Arazu and Mai, I mean, you don't have to have seen that one before watching this video, but I will talk about some stuff from that video in this one. So I guess it would be spoilers for it, but you know, you can watch them either way around, it doesn't matter. The main thing you will have missed is I talked about the different tribes of Hisui, the northern and southern tribes, which worship Palkia and Dialga respectively, and the outfits they wear are designed after those legendary Pokemon. And in today's video, we actually get to see one of the northern tribe outfits up close, which we didn't get to do in the last one. That's because we're looking at Leon. Leon is the young and talented warden of a noble Pokemon which was featured heavily in the trailer, Cleavor. Being the only warden from the Northern Tribe, his outfit is overall very similar to the other wardens, but obviously has that Palkia aesthetic. The Northern Tribe's crest is displayed proudly on his chest in all its circular glory. What I got from the trailer is that Leon is a hard-working straight shooter. He's covered head to toe in dirt, which shows that he's clearly working hard, and based on the pickaxe on his belt, he's been doing some mining. Maybe to get food for Cleavor, who requires specific rocks to evolve and then maintain itself. He's also not made any modifications to his uniform, minus the massive hat that he wears, which takes us straight onto his descendant. This is the exact same hat worn by Clay. They have the same hair, both are involved in mining, and finally, there's their names. In Japanese, Leon's name comes from Jerusalem Artichoke, and Clay's from Yakon, and those two plants are actually related. In addition to his pickaxe, he has three pouches around his waist, which is like the standard for the tribespeople. Okay, now let's have a look at his bracelet. While it's not 100% accurate, that's definitely Cleavor, right? Maybe just a slight simplification. And we know that Cleavor is the evolution of Scyther, and that's not what Scyther looks like, unless... Unless it is. If you saw the character design analysis for Mai, you would know that her bracelet doesn't actually show the Pokemon that she's a warden of. Instead of Weirdeer, what it actually shows is a Stantler, Weirdeer's pre-evolution. What this means for Leon's bracelet is hard to tell. That definitely looks a lot like a Cleavor, minus a few extra rocks in its face. And while this could be a Hisuian version of Scyther, I think it's too similar to Cleavor to really speculate at this point. The bracelet is yellow, which could mean rock, but again, it's sort of the wrong color to really be the type that this Pokemon represents. Obviously though, noble Pokemon are special. They are unique in that they have been blessed with divine energy by Arceus. This could alter their forms and mean that noble Pokemon look different to standard Cleavor or Weirdit. But again, this is just wild speculation. Let's get back to some facts by looking at the last warden in the series so far, Iskin. Iskin is supposedly a very gentle man who lives by the sea and looks after a special Basque Legion, the one we get to ride in the trailers. He's a big guy, but he's easily frightened and does not like ghosts. Besides just being an interesting quirk of his personality, this might hold a clue to his ancestry, though we'll dive into that a little later. Overall, he has a very monk-like appearance and his tribal outfit is rather bland. All he's done is remove his Kote forearm guards, roll up his sleeves, and wrap his hands in bandages. Typically, that's something you'd see on a fighter, but based on his description, he just doesn't seem like the type. Although the image of a gentle giant may just be a facade. Personally, I think that's unlikely, but I imagine if he is a fighter, it's more likely that he was pushed down that path by circumstance because he's a coward. Around his waist is a thatch bag, and over his shoulder is a strap with four pouches. Still, we have no idea what's in them, but they're different from the pouches of balm that we saw in the trailer. 
Lastly on his back is a wooden cylindrical tube. He's clearly carrying something in there, but God knows what it is. Maybe some kind of scroll or even a sword. I honestly have no idea. Simply looking at his appearance, his skin is much darker than the other wardens and his eyes narrower. He is a bald shaved head, but you can see a wavy shoreline like hairline of blue hair. And out of all the wardens, Iskin's ancestry is the hardest to place. His name comes from Chinese silvergrass, which apparently could connect him to Marlin, as they both have something to do with rice. They also both share blue hair and are connected by water Pokemon. They also both have dark skin, although Marlin is actually white and just really tan. Then again, this could apply to Iskin too, we actually have no idea. Raihan has also been proposed by some as a potential connection, but they only seem to share skin tones. If anyone from Gala is more likely to be connected, I'd put my money on Nessa, as she also shares the blue hair and water connection. It could also potentially be someone we haven't met yet, maybe a character from Gen 9, which could be set in China or somewhere like that. A cool thing we saw in the trailer was this tent that Iskin is standing outside of. We can also see it on the Hisuian map. Again, it's a southern tribe thing. The northern tribe has their own version. Lastly, there's his bracelet. Now, we know that he is the warden of the Ride Basque Legion. However, just like Mei, what we see on the bracelet doesn't match the appearance of the noble Pokemon. This is definitely the same shade of red, but the shape is off. And similar to Arizu, I find it incredibly suspicious that we never see the full design of the bracelet head on. It's always hidden, so we can't see the image clearly. And again, if we head into speculation territory, this could mean that we're going to see a new Basculin form for Hisui, or maybe even a middle evolution. Honestly, these bracelets just seem to be raising more questions than anything else in these trailers. Mai's is a Stantler and not a Weirdeer. Arizu's is completely hidden from sight. Leon's pretty much looks like Cleavor, but has some minor differences. And then Iskin's is again hidden from view and has some elements of Basque Legion, but is clearly not the same. If it wasn't for Mai's so obviously being a Stantler, I would put these down to maybe stylistic choices or just simplifications of these Pokemon's designs. However, the fact that she doesn't have the Pokemon she's meant to have means these Pokemon could be different as well. And when it comes to Leon having Cleavor, it could be a difference between the Southern and Northern tribes. Maybe the Northern tribe has the Warden's noble Pokemon on there and the Southern tribe uses its pre-evolution. Who knows at this stage? But all that is a lot of speculation and I would love to hear what you think down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? What conspiracies can you imagine in your beautiful minds? And I think we are done here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around to this stage. If you watched all this, I hope you liked the video. If you did, like the damn video, please. Subscribe if you aren't already. And shout out to a few people. Commander Zed and Norton's Love being two of those people for incredible artwork they've done for me in the past. Some of their stuff's on screen now and their links will be down in the description. I also have channel memberships, so if you'd like to get some cool rewards, you can always give me some money <laughs> or donate for absolutely no benefit to yourself whatsoever. If you like this sort of content, there's plenty more character design analysis videos on the channel, both for Pokemon Legends Arceus and Sword and Shield, as well as fact videos and just a ton of other stuff, um, completely unrelated to this, but you might enjoy it anyway. I think that's just about enough of that. I hope you have a wonderful day and a good life. Goodbye.